All right, I've been working on this project for about two hours now and I've examined a lot of the code that was here. There's a 10-bit resolution and that's what we're going to use and there's a lot of stuff here that I really needed so it gave me a big jump start but uh, it wasn't quite enough I'll explain later in a post at digitaldiy.com but what we got is a voltmeter hooked up to my dev board and that right there is a uh, fort, uh, 18F14K22 there's a pot just working as a voltage divider the voltage source input is 5 volts and when we adjust the pot and adjust voltage to an ADC inline to be able to read the voltage okay now this is what I've got it samples I think every half second I think I've got it set for 500 millisecond intervals and this is what we have on the voltmeter now I'm gonna do a little voltage varying I'm gonna zip back a little bit let me do this set it here like that so you can see Now this is going to be critical for use with uh, monitoring battery voltages and whatnot. So we'll turn the voltage up. And we'll go to 4.99. What do you think? turning it down just picking different places on the pot to turn to that's pretty cool and this is my setup that I'm using it's a can of kit uh, pick kit 2 clone it's going to a cable I got from spark fun and I've hot glued a couple of the pins in my um, breadboard wires that I've got and those wires came with this board the board I got for 26 bucks on eBay and it came with all these wires which is a great big help this is what I've been using this project's going to get transferred over as soon as I'm done learning a little bit more about the pick uh, this is a piece of junk well it's not that bad but the wires are totally junk it's hard wires and every time you move something the connections come loose and then your project fails it's just crap these are the only wires I recommend anybody using. The flexible, and it's got the solid pin in the end. And that works out really good. And there's my USB oscilloscope I got for $39 off eBay. And uh, all of this was programmed in Proton Development System, Proton Basic, or Pick Basic Plus. Pick Basic, Pick Basic Pro. Proton Development Suite. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and uh, found it informative. Hopefully I'll have something on digital DIY as a, as a formal article. Look under Roger Tango as a username.